to wake up early around 4 a.m. because we had to travel two hours to Lembuyang Temple. Our target was to be there by sunrise. Entrance fee is 55,000 rupiah each, and the shuttle going up to the temple is 45,000 rupiah each. We were given a number for our queue to take photos. Again, wearing a sarong for both men and women is mandatory. You get to choose the sarong and they'll help you put it on. On the way up to the temple, there are some IG spots you could drop by to. One is the Maha Kenkana Paradise. You do need to pay 20,000 rupiah each to enter. There are staffs who will help you take pictures and videos. Then a steep walk to the gate itself. The Limpuyang Temple is probably one of the most photographed temples in Bali. Located on the slope of Mount Lempuyang, Lempuyang is one of Bali's oldest and most highly regarded temples. It is also known as the Gateway to Heaven. We had to wait for our turn, so this is how it actually looks like. Take note, women who are menstruating are not allowed <laughs> in, are not allowed to kiss. <laughs> My set of rules sila, so pinapanood namin sila. So that we have ideas kung ano magiging post namin. Copycats kami, copycats. <laughs> The good thing on our travel dates is that there are fewer tourists. Usually, the waiting time here is around 4 hours, but we only waited for an hour. Downside of this season is that sometimes it rains. Then, we went to Taman Tirta Ganga. Entrance fee was 70,000 rupiah. Tirta Ganga is a former royal palace in eastern Bali. It is noted for the Karangasem Royal Water Palace, bathing pools, and its Patirsan Temple. The Patirsan Temple illustrates the historic significance of Tirta Ganga in the Balinese tradition as a pilgrimage and holy water site. You can buy fish food before you enter the palace. I don't know how much it was though, because Made bought it for us. After that, we ate breakfast at the restaurant just outside the palace. Nasi goreng! We're having brunch! Then, we went white water rafting at Bukit Silin Rafting. Bukit means mountain and Sile is the name of the mountain. We had so much fun! It was a long trip though, 18 kilometers of rafting, which lasted for around 2 to 3 hours. And we had a few stopovers. Our guide made it so fun for us too. Total cost for the rafting, food, and photos was 600,000 rupiah. Yay, we just finished rafting, guys. Saya naman, we survived. Now we're eating lunch. Yay. Then, we finally got to go to Tirta Empul. Entrance fee is 50,000 rupiah. Tirta Empul is a Hindu Balinese water temple that consists of a petirtaan or bathing structure, famous for its holy spring water where Balinese Hindus go to for a ritual purification called melukat. Sarang is free but if you want to rent another sarang for the spring, it costs 10,000 rupiah. We changed into a swimming sarong because we're gonna go take a dip. We made an offering first before we headed to the spring. means Holy Spring in Balinese. So we just finished dipping and praying on the Holy Spring. 
So the purpose of that is to have our, we're praying to the gods to have our soul cleansed. So that's where we went. After that, we went back to the hotel and ended our last night in Ubud with great dinner and cocktail drinks. This is mixed with Wow, hindi naman yan ha pa. Masarap. Guys, it's strong. It's like tequila. I don't really like it when it's um, pure. pure. I'd rather have it with a flavor. How about the grape, the mixed one? Yeah, go for the second one and let's see. It doesn't smell promising, but I'm gonna try it. <laughs> it's our last day guys and we're on our way to the edge it was a two hour drive going there you need to book at least a day in advance we got our day tour passes via Kluk, which cost us 1785 pesos you need to pick a slot either in the morning or in the afternoon with a stay of a maximum of 4 hours. Nestled up on a clifftop in Uluwatu, it has a breathtaking view of the ocean and a great place to relax. The day tour fee includes pool access with food and drink consumables worth 400,000 rupiah. Like, ang ganda dito, guys. We just finished swimming. Paket na kami. After our stay, we headed to Uluwatu Temple. Entrance fee is 50,000 rupiah. The place is a Balinese Hindu sea temple. The temple is inhabited by monkeys who are notorious for snatching visitors' belongings like hats, sunglasses, jewelry. One of them actually got Mira's hat. But thankfully, we were able to get it back. We then went to Kuta Beach. I needed to go to a Pandora shop to buy my Balinese charm, so we went to the shopping center. Went for a quick walk in the beach. Then bought some souvenirs and pasalubongs at Agong Bali. Hi guys, this is Made. Yeah. You come here in Bali. Make sure to book we'll here. We recommend. Here. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. 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 After another long day, we went to check in at our hostel in Kuta. Compared to Ubud, which is considered as a province, Kuta is a city and it gets really traffic. So guys, this is our Airbnb in Kuta. So dito lang kami for a few hours. Yeah. This is our humble Look at that. Habit. Pinigay nila. Dinikit nila to dun sa souvenir place na binagpilahan namin. Feeling ko ano ako. Yung binibenta na fruit. <laughs> Apple. <laughs> na dinikita ng Food sticker. <laughs> Wait dinner nearby. Took a bath and rested. Then headed to the airport for our flight at 1am. <laughs> 